If you guys want to buy some FIFA 22 Ultimate Team coins, then there's only one place to go, and that is u7buy.com. Their link is down in the description. Use code CAPGUN to get yourself a discount. You're right, guys. It's CAPGUN Tom here, and welcome back to another episode of Team Takedown. And yes, it is time for a hero episode of Team Takedown. We are doing Freddy Lundberg today. I'm very excited to try this card out, trying to put heroes into teams and to see how it's going to evolve the whole Team Takedown series. And you guys keep on saying, please Tom, put something on the wheel. Don't worry, it's coming. I've got to put a time limit on it so that people stop asking. What time, what date is it? It's currently the 6th, I'm going to say Monday the 18th. I'm going to try and have a new guest every single episode up until the wheels, the new wheels come on, or new rules come onto the wheels. So, so far we've not had any repeat guests. I'm going to try and make sure that we get full, like, new, unique guests every single episode until, until the wheel rules. And that's going to be on the 18th, Monday the 18th of October. The rules are coming back. So let me know what rules you want down in the comments section. Excited to try and see how uh, in Hero is going to integrate into this series. Um, definitely going to probably be putting a limit on the number of heroes and icons you can have. Uh, today we're just going to play Lundberg as, an, as a hero and just like see how he fits in and whether it's impossible to guess players and stuff like that. Um, but after today, we are going to say that icons and heroes, there is a limit of one in the squad building. So you can only put one one or the other in, and we're just going to just go with that and just see how that sort of plays out. Um, so that should be exciting. And uh, yes, don't forget, live stream Friday, this channel, 6pm, one to watch Team 2, 500 upgrade packs to open. It's going to be epic. I want to see you all there. Subscribe, notification on, like the video if you've enjoyed it so far, and are going to enjoy the rest of it. And uh, let's go see how this all develops. This is going to be a banger. Okay. So if we're going to do a hero, we're going to need a heroic opponent. We're bringing him back from FIFA 21. My arch nemesis, the man that made me discard more than anybody else and gave me a hell of a hard time with every single player he got, especially Muriel and Footies Martial. That was absolutely barbaric when they had double goals. It's none other than Scott. What a welcome. I'll take that. Thank you very hey, listen, much. Mate, you give me a real run for my money. This year, I can see it being... Either similar or completely weighted in your favour. One of the two. I can't imagine it being, I, I take the last being me that comes the, out. That's, <laughs> I can't see it being me that comes out on top in this one. I'm not going to lie. Doing yourself a disservice. <laughs> I, I think it's going to be very, very interesting, you know, how these heroes are going to affect, like, hybrids and everything like that. For example, mm. when, when, obviously, like, the team isn't built around one, how is it going to be to sneak a hero in to get chemistry on everyone around them? I'm actually really yeah. interested to how it's going to affect the series. Yeah, I'm interested to see how that happens. I'm still trying to figure out exactly how they work. What's going to, yeah, how they're going <laughs> to work and what rule we're going to impose on heroes because there's got to be some rule. It's definitely going to be like you're limited to one icon or one hero. But whether yeah. you need to declare whether you've got one of these players in your squad... I'm not overly sure at the moment because yeah. I don't know. I was just looking at some of them. For example, now me and Scott were just talking actually and we, we're not 100% sure. Maybe someone can enlighten us down in the comment section. So Heroes, if you're not aware, they've just come into the game last week and they strong link to everyone in the league that they are known for. So Lundberg, who's today's one, uh, strong links to all Premier League players and he weak links to players that are Swedish outside of the Prem. Now, what we don't know is if he perfect links, so gives more chemistry to, for example, a Swedish player from the Prem. Because obviously he gets yeah. the strong nation, uh, league link and he would then get a nation link as well. Does that make it a perfect link? We're not sure. You know what? I'm going to run uh, a quick I, test here, I was Scott. just about to do the same thing, but I'm just, I'm struggling to use the menus right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in Morientes at striker. Because he's obviously La, La Liga. And then I'm going to put Gerard Moreno next to him. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in players that don't link to either in a 4-4-2. So they have three links. Yep. I'm, just going to I'm put doing in, uh... the same thing right now with Lindelof. He does get a perfect link. Ah, so our impressive investigation skills here, guys, have unearthed that perfect links will be achieved from same league, same nation for a hero. Yeah. So... This brings into uh, a bit of a problem for me, okay? So, for example, let's say Lars... Uh, who would we say? Let me. See, is there any centre-backs? Yeah, Jürgen Koller was the one I was going to use. Yeah. For example, you could put in 
Jürgen Koller, and he could then perfectly link to all the Germans around him, and it would make it so difficult to detect. So if it's like a 433, for example, and I don't know, you've got like, I don't know, you, you've not got any inkling that there's any Bundesliga players or German players in there. I could put Rick uh, Collar in and just surround him with Germans, like, mm -hmm. and it would be dirty. Like, for example, I could put um, Collar here and I could put Ginter on the left and then I could have like to Stegen in goal and they'd be sorted in a 4-4-2. And it would be almost difficult to, almost impossible to detect that's what was going on. Yeah. But maybe it will. I mean, I think what we'll do is we'll probably say you're limited to one for the time being yeah. and uh, we'll go from that, like I, from, from this episode onwards. I think the one thing that uh, will make it not as bad is there aren't that many of them and the ones that there are, hmm. there aren't a ton of hyperlink hero yeah, that cards. Is very true. So you've got very people true. like this, Jungberg, Solskjaer, even like Abedi Pele or whatever his name is, yeah, you're not going to get the hyperlinks from them, so yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's, uh, it's an interesting one. I think, like for now, what we're going to do we say with heroes, you're allowed one of them, one one hero or one icon. We'll just play team takedown as we have been doing, and we'll just see how it pans out. If things are looking a little bit broken and busted, and people getting away with absolute murder, and no one's having any of the players guessed, and no one's getting Danny Aaron's in goal, then we're going to have to change it up because we all like to see players getting guessed. We don't want to make it too hard for the guessing element. It just adds something brand new into yeah. the mix that we haven't really experienced before. Um, so Scott, should we dive over to the store and go and open some packs um, for this episode? Yes, do we? Uh, do you not want to do a rule? Uh, we don't do a rule at the moment because what? it's all so mental. The, the game is new and everything is so mental at the moment. We've actually decided just to not have wheel spins for a little bit. A little oh, wow. bit. Don't worry, they will be returning <laughs> of sooner rather than later, guys, because I know you guys love the wheel and I do want to bring it back. It's just, I, I just need time. And also, I haven't slept in a week. So, uh, yeah, you allow it. Allow it yeah, for now. That's, that, that is very fair. You do have to, you have to give him credit. I, uh, I just got Modric in my first pack, which is Wow, pretty good. that's sick. And whilst I'm opening pack, guys, I'm going to quickly uh, refresh your memory on what is going on with Facebook. So, uh, my Facebook um, contract to stream on Facebook has now come to an end. Um, I had an amazing time on uh, Facebook. Facebook, loads of people made it a really good experience. So thank you to everyone that came and supported me on that uh, platform. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm not leaving Facebook. I'm changing the way I work with Facebook. So what I'm gonna be doing is uploading 20 small videos every month onto Facebook for your viewing pleasure. So there's going to be things like squad builders, there'll be team reviews, there'll be pack openings, basically anything that's not a team takedown that's FIFA related content, it'll be going up there. So go and check that out, fb.gg slash capguntom is the place to go. Now that brings us on to where am I going to be streaming from now on? Well, I'm not gonna be streaming as much as I have been over the last year, just because I've got a lot of time constraints with the little one and I wanna spend as much time with her as possible. Um, but I will be still doing my full send pack openings in the evenings. Uh, maybe once or twice a week. So on a Friday when there's a new promo, come check me out. I'm going to have, like, you can see I've already got 500 two-player upgrades. I'm going to open loads of them this Friday for one to watch Team 2. So that will be right here on this channel. Make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications so that you know when I go live, I'll be live at 6. I'll also be doing Foot Champs packs, pack openings pretty much every single week. Those are the two that I'm really going to focus on. Uh, and then anything else I think of along the way where I'm like, oh, I want to stream that as well, then we'll chuck that up here too. I am very much struggling um, to get a player right now. I mean, I just got Matip, but that is just dread, isn't it? It's just absolutely yeah, dreadful. It's not great. Are you doing two player packs right now to get your players? I am, yeah, I am. Because i got so many, I might as yeah. well just open a bunch of them, but... I'm, oh just, I'm, I'm gonna stick with Modric. I don't think I'm gonna get something better than that, so... No, I can't, yeah, I mean, what is he, what rating is this? 87. 80, 87, yeah. There. I've had one board. My my luck has been absolutely terrible. As well, I've got Niakate, so that's actually going to be the one that I go with if I can't find anything before I uh, finish off what I was going to say. So um, if you guys didn't see it over the weekend, uh, a website called Rush.gg um, invited me and 14 other content creators to basically do a pack challenge where we open player packs or 120k's worth of FIFA points. Um, three days running to see who could get the best pack luck. And my luck was so appalling. I think I came almost dead last. Um, the only packs of note, or the only pack that actually scored me any points really at all was that I got um, Melito, Hero Melito on the first day. 
but apart from that, it was it was absolutely woeful. It was a very very poor <laughs> showing. So um, my pack luck in the mud. I'm not gonna lie. In yeah, the mud, the, and uh, you can see that happening right now. The contrast between some people was ridiculous. Oh like, yeah, yeah. Nerdfire, three hundred and sixty thousand FIFA points. Rashford. Yeah, that, that was, was his best player. <laughs> that was it. I, I mean, my luck was I actually ended up losing to him because I didn't get as many points because the way the points were scored was like, like every was like five points. Yeah, it was like yeah. only walkouts that counted. Yeah. Um, so it didn't really go on value, which is what I probably would have done if it was me. Um, because realistically, you're not going to get excited. Like Rashford was worth no points, and he's 150k because he's 85 rated. But Parejo's worth like 5k, but because he's 86, he was worth five points. Yes. Um, so yeah, it was an interesting. It was it was kind of like it kind of had like a FIFA bingo vibe to it. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, um, should I do it? I feel like I might have to do it, mate. I've just got our boy Muriel <laughs> feeling like it would be wrong to I pass gonna, up the opportunity to use It'd be rude them. not to, surely. Right, okay, well, there you go. I'm sorted then. I'm going to use Muriel. But yeah, it was just interesting to see. Like, um, it was just interesting. Just an interesting tournament. So thanks to Rush.gg uh, for inviting me to that. And if you want to check them out, their website is just Rush.gg. Easy. Right, let's pick some uh, formations, mate. Oh, dear. I think I'll go... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I think I'll go this one. I think I'll go that one. I really should have cut here, but have you, have I mean, I'm, been... I'm in too deep. I'm in too deep now. I'm in too deep. <laughs> have you been but experimenting I've... at all with formations so far in this game? I mean, I've, I've used like loads of different ones. I know that the 4-5-1 is absolutely tragic, so sure. I won't be using that. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Right, mate, I, I've got my formation on the screen. Um, you're going to ask me a question or you're going to have a straight up guess today? Uh, I will ask you a question. Fantastic. I will... So Muriel, interesting. I will ask if you are using any of the 433s. I'm not. Okay. Are you using the 424? You were halfway there. Four, four, the I got the 4... No, I got the 4231. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought this might be interesting. I don't know why I've done this. I've left them with a link between each other, but YOLO. Yep. You only live once. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have some fun. Um, right, okay, for you, mate. Your second player was, refresh me, it was Modric, wasn't it? Mr. Modric, yes. I'm just going to say, have you got the um, four, three, two, one? Yep. You have? Oh, wow. <laughs> well, Not anymore, start. you ain't bad boy. That's a good start. <laughs> I thought, you know what? You've got to go big. It's the first one of the year for me. So, I, I was thinking about I was like, how could you abuse the fact that this guy is going to strong link to every single Premier League player in the game? And I was like, you know what? If you do that thing where you have like him him just have one link on the left side, like he can link yep. strong link to the striker, any Premier League striker. Uh, I thought that might be where you went. Uh, do I want to give him a bad formation or do I want to make his players touch so it's easier to guess his thing? That's the biggest... If I was, Okay, so my first thought was I'm going to give you the 4-1-3-2. Uh, because then your two players will have to touch. There's just no way you can get them apart because of the rules. Yeah. But I'm actually just going to go and give you the worst formation I can think of. I'm going to give you the 3-1-4-2. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's fine. One, like you say, at least, at least they're apart. So... There you go. There's a silver lining to every blooming cloud, isn't there? I mean... Right. Yeah. <laughs> if safe, Guys... Though. We're going to go and build our two teams. If you want to see uh, these teams, keep on watching. Obviously, we're not allowed to use an icon in this because we've got a hero. Um, but yes, if you want to uh, keep on watching, just keep on watching. But if you don't want to see the team, look away now and wait for me to say look back. So look away. Right, guys, here are the two completed squads. You know what to do. Just simply make a mental note. Remember these bad boys because we're about to remove them. We're about trying to work out what each other have done. And if you were looking away, return those eyes to the screen because we are ready to get into the guessing. Scott is the guess. And a veteran of the series, you know what's happening. Safeties, 10 rounds, questions, guesses, scenes, limbs, do it. Take us away. I do have one other question before we get into this. Mm. Are you sticking as a no safety man in FIFA 22? You'll have to wait and see when. you? Oh, that's poor. <laughs> okay. Right. So, the thing is, with Mr. Youngberg... You can just put any Prem, CDM, and left back in. If they strong link together, that triangle's all on full chem. So that's going to be very hard to guess. So I'll go with your right 
mid to start. Safety. Oh, he's a changed man. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't really know what options there are here, so let me... God, I hate these changes to the menus. Why? Have... They're just things you're getting used to. There's nothing wrong with them. No, Stop there is. Why, when no. you choose position, can you not press up to skip to the bottom of the list? Ugh. Right. Right forwards. There is a Colombian. That is true, actually. You should be able to scroll to the top from the top, from the bottom. To the top. Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> yeah, that is stupid. Okay, take that back. Hey, if you're listening, you know what to do, boys. So you got Hatabur. Ugh. Oh. Hatabur. Uh, uh, uh. I'll say, have you got Hatabur? I think it'd be stupid not to. I haven't, no. Okie dokie. So it could be any Serie A right mid, which is not good for me. So let's just whack one in there. If it is a strong link, then they're not that good, which sorts your chemistry, but is good for me in the game. So uh, I'm going to go for your left DM, I think. Okay. And I mean, they, they have to be Prem. Let's... If they aren't, then I mean, fair play. Are they 84 rated or above? My left CDM is 84 rated or above, yes. Are they a Liverpool Man City? or Man United player? They do play for one of those three clubs, yes. Okay. Right, at least we've got some information even if we get this wrong. So, we've got Gundo, Henderson, Rodri, Thiago, Fabinho, Pogba. There's a few. There's way more than I thought there was gonna be. I thought you were quite close, yeah. but you're miles no, there's, away. There's, there's, there's quite a few. <laughs> um. I'm just trying to think, though, what you might break off. Spanish is obviously very easy to break off into, but you could just go like Fabinho, Alex Tellez, Fulkem, Bosch. So I'm going to guess Jordan Henderson. It's not Jordan Henderson. Oh. Boom. I did use him the other day, actually. He's called an absolute screamer for me, so. Okay. Not today. Um, right, where should we start for you, mate? I think we'll go for your... Um, I think we'll go for your CDM. Okay. Is he playing La Liga? Safety! Uh, how, <laughs> how... What a shot. I'm going to say... Yeah. Have you got... I'm going to say a Croatian, I think. There's less of them. Wow, midfielders. There's no Swedish centre back. Well, there is. There's one, and it's but it's yeah, it's not great. But you might have done that. You might have used like um, that fella from Man United. I can't remember, remember his name. Lindelof. Victor Lindelof. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I'll say, have you got Kovacic? No. Yeah, I think that was a bit of bait, but you know, we say these things because we have to. Exactly. Your right striker, my friend. Yep. Is he from La Liga? Yes, he is. Okay. Unsurprising. Who have we got the strong list of Montbridge? Yeah, well, unsurprisingly, really. Who have we got for Real Madrid? <clears throat> is there more than one? That's the real question. Jovic, Mariano, Salazar. And then, obviously, there's Benzema as well. I think what we'll do is we'll assume you're not going to use one of the really bad ones. You might have done, but... If you have no no bother, and I'll say, does your player play for either? Does your player? I just actually say straight up, does your player play for Atletico Madrid or Barcelona? He does. Okay, interesting. You got a now we've got few options. There are quite a few options: Greasy Grease, Correa, Aguero, Suarez, and Depay. 
A Grease is a good one because obviously there's like Martial and stuff. Suarez to Cavani. That's an option. Yeah, I like the idea of that. Is there any, actually, hang on a sec. Is there any Argentinians in the Prem strikers? No. I think I'll say the one that I like the idea of you might have done and say, have you used Suarez? No. Okay. Your turn, my friend. I'm going to go for your left back. Okay. And I will ask, if I can get to the Prem, is it one of the following players? Region, Alex Tellez, or Digne? Region, Alex Tellez, or Digne? It's none of those, no. Damn. Uh, is it either Tierney, Furpo, or Simicass? It's none of those. Good. Have you got... Zinchenko! I haven't, no. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Yes, indeed. All right. Um, I'm going to go for your left centre mid. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I'll say, is this player... A bit of a weird one. Dutch, French, Argentinian or Portuguese? Yes, he is one of those four nations. All right. Well, I'm going to assume he's Prem. And I'm going to assume that you might have done what I think you might have done. So, what we need to do is quickly jump to the Prem. And we're going to go Nation. Goodness me, if I could work the menus also. I, I told you. Argentinian was one. Centre mid, you got Lo Celso. I'm not going to... I'm going to assume that you have not used Lanzini here because it, this is quite a hidden thing that you might have done. Um, so... Argentinian. I had French, didn't I? There's quite a few French. Portuguese. We've got Bruno Fernandes. Bernardo Silva. Ruben Neves. And then it sort of goes a little bit downhill after that. Um, since you've used a safety, I might be able to get you. Uh, and what was the other nation? Dutch, I said. So and we've got like Van der Beek, I think. Is the centre mids? Yeah, that's the only one I'm going to put you on. Plenty of French centre mids. I probably could name them all just by thinking about it. Um, so, is your player Portuguese? Yes. Which one do I think you've used? Is it... I think you've used Bernardo Silva, but I'm going to say you've got Bruno Fernandes. No. Oh, man. Oh, I feel like I was close there, but it's your turn, mate. I feel like I might be able to get one of your players here. I might be able to get one of them. Okay. Um. I don't even know, to be honest. Uh, let me have a little look at your cam. My cam? So... Okay. Seria, what have these got? Oh, God, I hate how they've changed it. <laughs> You've got Frula, Miranchuk, Pasalic, Pasina, and then Colombia. Uh, where is it? There. Oh, I actually haven't checked centre forwards. Will that catch me off guard? No, it doesn't look like it. Right. Oh, Ilicic and Malinovs. God, there's a lot of options here. Surely this is where your strong link is then. I'm going to say, is this player a centre forward by default? No. Damn. That would have been lovely. I think I have to double check. Does it strong link to Muriel? It does. So there's one in four. What do I think you've gone with? Could you have got away into a different nation? Pasalic could have gone. He could have used Modric just to be that guy. Something along those lines. Swiss, Russian. 
have you gone with... Actually, who has the best... Ooh, that guy does. Have you gone... Pasolic? I haven't, no. Damn. Right, left striker, my friend. Does your player... Play for... Atletico Madrid? No. What? <laughs> no. Oh, no, no, no. You're thinking what? Jao Felix? I was, yeah. Yeah. I thought you might have a strong link across the top and then Jao... That's why I was so rooted on those four nations because those are the players that I've pulled off the... Yeah. Off the Barca and Atletico lineup. That makes sense. I did wonder where those nations came from, but yeah, the logic is sound. Just got, just got lucky, but actually it might have been unlucky because it sent me, sent me down a path of no return at the moment. <laughs> True. True. Oh, yeah. Um, I guess I just have to say, is your player from the Prem? Yes. Oh, so simple. <laughs> oh, no. And it could be anyone, to be honest, can it? Because, like, it's got a strong link. I don't think it needs to be Portuguese. If it was Man City, you don't even need it to be Man City because why would you need two strong links here? Could be anyone. Who do I not want to play against? Well, should I be saying someone that potentially could link to the guy on the right side, which was an Atletico Madrid player? Griezmann was French. Aguero obviously used to play in the Premier, used to be the Argentinian that played in the Premier that linked to him. So that's not it. Portuguese. Because you have just. He does play in the Premier, so it could just be a. But that's Ronaldo, and you're not going to put Ronaldo in. I don't think there's any other options, really. I think I've just got to choose a French striker, to be honest. It's the only thing that makes sense. Have you got Martial? No. Yeah, I didn't think as much. It's so obvious. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. So, where the hell? I thought I was onto something, but I'm not. <laughs> no, yeah, it was it. It would have been a cool idea um, to go for that. Uh, right. I tell you, I don't even know. Left centre back? Alrighty. Are they from the Prem? No. I didn't think they were. Right. So what do I think? Do I think that you've branched Nation from one of these? Or do they disconnect completely? It'd be easy, obviously, to do Nation. Because then this player wouldn't have had to strong link to the CDM. Are they from... Hmm... La Liga or the Bundesliga? They are from one of those two leagues, yes. Have you got Upper Meccano? I don't know. Okay. Right, okay. Um, this is round number eight. I need to get yep. something here. Do I think I'm gonna get, you're going to get any of my players? I know that you're going to try and hit my goalkeeper next. Don't have a safety. I even need the thing is here. Here's my here's my conundrum. Do I try and guess your right mid because I think that I might be able to get it, or do I try and guess the right centre back and then you miss my goalkeeper and then I go for the right mid? Yeah. Not really. Not really sure, mate. Yeah. I guess I'll say is your player from Real Madrid or Sevilla your right mid? Yes. Are they Spanish? No. Either Rodrigo or Bale, isn't it? Unless it's Lamella. Could be Lamella. Because he could have Correa or Aguero up top. But then this centre mid would have to link. I feel like Rodrigo is actually probably the best shot. I'll say, have you got Rodrigo? It's Lamella. I don't have Rodrigo, no. It's Lamella, damn it. Right. <laughs> Let's go goalkeeper. Let's go goalkeeper. Let's go. Are they La Liga? Yes. Ooh. Right. Let's look what we've got in the league this year. <sighs> A lot. A lot. You it Lamella. You it was Lamella. Does this player... Hmm. 
Are they... Fuck that levers. One, two, three, four, five. Are they 83 rated? Or do they have a card that is 83 rated or above? Let me just double check for you. 83 or above? Yeah. No. Damn. So instead of a 1 in 5, we've got <laughs> 1 in 20, kind of. Oh, uh, right. What do I think? Left centre back, what might you have gone with? Maybe you would have gone with someone like Hermoso. So Spanish obviously is an option, but so is someone like Le Comps to get a strong link to him. And then you could break off to French, the bright side. That'd be interesting. Matt Ryan. Portuguese. I say if you got Le Compte. I haven't, no. Okay. Phew. Stab All right. Mark, you never know. How have you done this? Because cause you've not <laughs> got the Real Madrid link here and you've not got strong link here. Your CDM links to Modric somehow. He does. So I'm wondering if maybe you've not gone Kovacic and you've gone Brozovic. Maybe. And you're in La Liga. So I'm going to go for your goalkeeper. Uh, Serie A, sorry. I'm going to go for your goalkeeper. Yep. Is he from Serie A? He is. Ooh, okay. Is he Italian or Portuguese? Italian or Portuguese? No. Um... Hmm. Would you just go balls to the ball here? Interesting. I'm going to say, have you got Handanovic? No. Oh, my God. Right, I'm going gonna, gonna to run you through my team first. Um, oh, oh, guessless round. That was hard work. Yep. Right <laughs> mid, Lamella. Striker, Correa. Oh. Left centre mid, Bernardo Silva. Oh my god, I've got them <laughs> all in. I've literally got all of these players in. Uh, striker, Bobby Firmino. Uh, just because the chemistry... You want. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Chemistry works pretty cool. <laughs> uh, you weren't... I wanted to go Brozovic, but I thought you may... Uh... May say him. Yeah, you may say him. So I, I, I went with Pasalic, yeah. Uh, I then went with Demaral, left centre back, Manolas, Kulabali, Chesney. Oh my god, I was so close to say Chesney. <laughs> oh, there's four players yeah. there that I don't know how I got away yeah, with. Yeah, you swerved. That's the joy of team takedown, though, it really can. Yeah. Go one or two ways. You could have lost them all, or you could have lost none, which was the case this time. Right, I'll run you through my team. Yep. Um, so, is it this team? No, it's not this team. Where is my team? My team has disappeared. Good. Concept squads. There we go, Freddy. Um, so I went Piscina as my cam. Okay, yeah. Because I needed the link. I realised how badly I muddied myself choosing this formation. And plus he's Italian, so it made it easier to get another strong link because I needed another strong link. Use Tonali right CDM. Kulisevski is my right mid. So we've got Swedish wingers there. Yeah. Uh, I've got the best left back in the Prem. We've got Robertson. And we've also got Thiago who is my left CDM. Um, and I did actually use a bit of a link. This is quite an interesting defence, actually, because I used Marisic at right back, the uh, right wing back who is from uh, Montenegro. Yes. Uh, plays for Lazio. Then I have Savic from Atleti. Ooh. Yeah. And then Hermoso, who gets a link to Thiago. And then my goalkeeper is uh, Rui Silva. I'm Betis. I got Hermoso, right? Ah... Uh... I should have just said Robertson. I don't right. know. I, yeah, it's I, one of those, mate. I, like, we've played so many games against each other. You, it's more, it's, it's less strategy between us now. And it's more like, just put whoever you want in and hope they don't guess it. Because they, because then, you know, they start second guessing. You start second guessing yourself. You're second guessing their second guesses. And then, exactly. bam, before you know it, it's your whole team's it's gone. It's constant mind game. As soon as, <laughs> like, you said no to Henderson, in my head, you either had... Um, Tiago and uh, what Robertson uh, yep. or Rodri and 
whoever I guess Zinchenko, and then breaking yeah. breaking off into I guess, La Liga or I guess the fact that you said um, what's his chop because you said Henderson, it made you less likely to say Robertson yeah. because that strong link because there was a one less strong link there for him. Yeah. But that is how the cookie crumbles, mate. Well, we're going to get to see how we uh, we fare with a full team, guys. We're going to go dive into the game now. We will meet you all there. Let's go. Right, we are now in the revamped arena. Uh, I mean, it's no piggy bank, but it's something. So, ooh, oh, hello. Look at that. <laughs> good start. <laughs> uh, Who knows what's going on? Best of luck, mate. Good luck to you. Oh, he's killing me! Oh. No. <laughs> the ginger wizard from Sweden. We love oh. to see it. Oh. Nice from Freddy. We gotta love that. Oh, Good save, he's Rui. caught it. Just before, so. Ruined every attack. Oh my! Yeah. Oh, good finish. Good finish. Good finish. Okay, that's a problem. Yeah. Oh, the finesse. <laughs> Banger. I mean, there's nothing you can do. That's nice. Oh, get out the way then. <laughs> Appreciate it fully. Bang it. No. Oh, that's oh, close. I don't score corners. So, so don't yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, someone put in a no! tackle! How have I not scored? <laughs> that was the most insane dribble oh. I've ever seen. Oh my god. Oh, Where are you going, Tanali? A little bit of luck. A little one of these. Pen ref! <laughs> He's just taking himself out. Bernardo! Oh, straight at the keeper. <laughs> ah! As if he saved that. Save. Ruby Silver's a bit of a monster, isn't he? All right, Freddy, <laughs> turn up. Come on. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> we're back. Fever's <laughs> <laughs> back, everybody. Please don't let that work, I swear. What are you doing? <laughs> Chesney, you clown. Oof. Oh my god. Play on! card for one of my players. Oh. <laughs> savage is gone. <laughs> savage being a savage as per. Who's this? Freddy! No. Okay. Slightly <laughs> ambitious effort from whoever that was. Blow the whistle, ref. Please. It's time, lads. Blow the whistle! Ooh, what a finish from Muriel. I'm not sure if this is a good thing. I have, I only have one centre-back, so <laughs> a, a playing extra time with one centre-back isn't the most appealing concept, I won't lie. Come on. No, ref. Extra time it is, guys. Okay. Through that gap. Bobby. Oh, oh that is close. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, way, I'm marking the ref. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's a what? huge save with his Why did he what save it like that? <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? No. That's all me. Oh, oh. get rid of it! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. Keeper. Uh, straight the keeper's oh my god, I thought he wasn't going to get it. <laughs> Quite as midriff. What is that about? <laughs> Chesney, I have no confidence in. <laughs> Dear god. Get yourself a Rui Silver, mate. I know. Stop marking him. <laughs> that is disgraceful. <laughs> <laughs> Nine men. Has only taken one game, <laughs> a couple games, and tops back to his old trick. Unreal. Get out of his way, you idiots! <laughs> Go! Ah. Oh! No! <laughs> There's confidence in the goalie. <laughs> what a ball out that is. Just not looking onto him. 
He's fallen over. Oh, oh there's an opportunity oh, here. No. No. There's no way. Oh, no. Oh, he did what? not mean it to Tiago. <laughs> I did not mean it to Tiago. <laughs> so true, my uh, friend. So true. Break his legs. <laughs> oh, boys, it's pretty on the stick. <laughs> How? Three, How one, four, two. It's like having. It's like, <laughs> it's like having eight men, mate. My nine bested your oh. your eight. Honestly, yeah, the, the centre back's positioning in this formation is it's, 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 it's so it's much. It's so like even last year it was better than this. <laughs> it's as if the wide centre backs think that they're full back <laughs> is the best way to describe it. I don't know. Uh, I think yeah, I think you're kind of right there. That is, I mean, that is truly woeful. I can't believe that it's ended that score. But yeah, there we go. Shares Five me. three. What a what a start to the year. Two discards coming up for Scott. Let's go get at it. Let's do it. I think I'm ready. You're ready. You're shuffled. Shuffled. Where's Lundberg? I reckon... Right CM and central centre-back. He wasn't. Centre or centre-back? Manalas. Right centre-mid is Kulabali. Oh, um, defensive. Pet. That's not. That's not awful, but it's equally twenty-five k. I th Lungberg was right mid. <laughs> God. Oh God, what's he doing there? Oh, I, th I thought I for sure you were saying it. Okay. <laughs> um, I guess I need to do uh, Taliska on this account, so I'll put those two into that. Good idea. Okay, Scott, are you ready to submit your boys, your two centre backs? Yes. Mr. Kalidu Kulabali and Manalas are in for Telushka. So there we go. They're done. Good times. Good times. Well, there you go, guys. That is the end of today's team takedown. The first epic clash between me and Scott. And uh, there's going to be another epic clash on his channel. So if you want to go check that out, link to him is down in the description. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Peace. Bye.